Hello and welcome to Rixpix. We are about to start another Mikaya Masks draft here. Let's hope we open well at least. <laughs> Alright, so here we are. We get an instigator, which. <laughs> it's a guy who actually reads my articles. <laughs> uh, so. I'm thinking I'll, t I'll first pick a Remosian tin in here because you know rebels are pretty amazing, and other than that, we we got a few very good black cards in the form of Highway Robber and Instigator, and this thing is pretty good too in this format. So uh, we have this thing which is okay. the The bad news here about taking the Remosian tin is that Probably nothing will we own, but oh well. There's the, the, the green guy to the, the three three guys. It's good. But I really do like being in white in this format. Alright, Pius Warrior. It's pretty good, I think. There's this guy, but there's no need to uh, enter a second color right now. Especially one with double blue or double black in this case. <clears throat> uh, this doesn't do anything. This is actually okay, but not extremely good. Uh, yeah, this as a 4 mana 4 4 is not that excellent, but it is good. I think I'm gonna take the, the Rebel here. It's important to have a critical mass of, of Rebel guys. and. This way, again, we are not passing any white cards, <coughs> which is good news. Alright, here, things have uh, apparently dried up. Orm's Cure is okay-ish. Mosian Rail is not that amazing, but it is playable, especially in this format. Well, we have like a Horn Troll, Skyshroud Ridgeback, which isn't that good, to be perfectly honest. A Ley Line. Uh, what does this thing do? It's the black version of the of, of this cycle, which has stuff like Indentor Jin. I'm thinking whether I should take an Orim Skuros or maybe the Horn Troll, which is the best card in this pack, I would say. Yeah, let's go ahead and take the Horn Troll. I figure we can get a, an Orim Skuro later. Ferocity. Not good. Your is okay ish. This is not good. Squeeze isn't good either. It's a Howling Wolf. Oh yeah, there's maybe the Lacolith Grun is the best card in this pack. We have a Hoodwink, we have a Bog Smugglers. Not taking that thing, that thing is very bad. <laughs> Hoodwink is not that good either. I think I'm going to get a Lacolith Grun. It's by far the best card here, I think. Ooh, Trap Runner. I really like her. Even though, you know, she's a soldier, not a rebel. Devout Witness is also pretty amazing, and I certainly don't want people playing this against me if I'm white. White has lots of enchantments. Uh, well, this thing is okay. That thing is okay too. Eye of Ramos is acceleration, another horn trouble. I think I'm going to take a trap runner. Uh, getting the trap runner this late is definitely a good, a good signal. It is uh, sort of a. I mean, it's an absolutely defensive creature, which usually does not bode well for white in this format. But you know, you you will always be racing, no matter what. There will be, uh, you know, board stalls and thinking can help you actually if you have some flyers race them in the air, because you will stop their attacker. And here I'm gonna take a muzzle, I think. There's a Black Witch, which is pretty good too. But if there's one thing I know right now is that I am in, in white, 
and I gotta take you know as many good white cards as, as I can. Game preserve. Yeah, not that good. Yeah, this thing is not good either. I think probably the best card is the Plague Witch, but I'm gonna take the Muzzle because I'm already in white. And here we get to. Alright, Fault Rider is actually pretty good, so I may take that better than this guy. Uh, Giant Caterpillar is also very okay. Uh, yeah, that thing, well, none of those cards are that good, I, I don't think. Uh, so it's either Giant Caterpillar or Fault Riders. I think Fault Riders might just be better in. I don't know, I think I would rather be white red than white green. So Charmer is a rebel. Sword Dancer is a rebel too. So do I want a, a Soul Charmer or a Sword Dancer? I'm honestly not sure. That thing has pseudo life link and it's, you know, a very bad card to, you know, uh, current standards, but here I think it might be actually okay. While well, Sword Dancer seems really annoying, right? Yeah, I think I'm gonna take a Sword Dancer. It's really annoying to play against it. And here we got the Fanatical Devotion back. We got this thing, Surprise and Cove, and Thwart, and not much else. Panic, panic Attack. Surprise and Cove. Would that be any good? I am not sure. I'm gonna take a thwart, I think. Not likely to play either of those. Darcy Merfolk is actually okay. Branded Brawlers, <laughs> pretty bad. So, yeah, let's take a Darcy Merfolk, just in case. Arcadian Bazaar, Lacolith Rig, Alexis Cloak. Uh, well. That's because I got a, an ad there. Well, let's take Arcadian Bazaar. Pretenders Claim, Shovey Match, and Flame. Yeah, let's take a shovel match. We can use it at the end of turn to tap stuff if we need to. Alright, so we got a bunch of bad cards actually. Uh, we started well with a rebel, but you know, rebels are bound to be taken early, right? In this format. Let's hope we do better in this second pack. Okay. We have a brawl, which is okay, but. We got some rebels here that we could take. This thing, yeah, it's actually perfect to, to get with the lieutenant, right? Thermoglide is obviously pretty good too, but I think I would rather have this guy. This guy searches, you know, keeps the, the rebel chain going. So let's take it. Let's hope the thermoglider makes it back, but I don't think it will. Because it is really a very good card, and, uh, you know, packs in this format tend to dry up pretty fast. Here we got another Soul Charmer. We did not take the first one, so let's keep that in mind. It's a Lacolith Warrior. Which is pretty good. Uh, Shift and end all. It's a Knight. If this thing was a, a Rebel, then things would be much better for me, I think. Could take also a Crossbow Infantry. The problem here is that the Lacolith Warrior is actually the best card in the pack by a fair margin, I think. Whereas the Crossbow Infantry and the Soul Charmer are both pretty good for white, and we don't know if we are red at this point. But we got some pretty good red cards. I mean, think, taking this thing definitely throws us into red. But it is a good card, so let's take it. Ooh, what does this thing do? 
it's okay, but yeah, at this point I think we're gonna get a thermal glider. Although we could take a defined vanguard too. It has pseudo death touch, which is a good ability to have. And you know, thermal glider is very good, but again, having a rebel that searches for other rebels is always gonna be not a fine for us. And probably better than the flyer here. So let's go and let's just go ahead and take it. Another fault riders, yeah, but I think it's just better. Ooh, Rappling Scouts. Alright, Rappling Scouts is pretty okay. Better than a crossbow infantry, I think, especially because it's a rebel. I mean, it's not the best card ever, but it is a rare. <laughs> and you know, gaining protection is definitely not irrelevant. Also, it flies, so. It's one of the two flying rebels. Ooh, another Ramosian lieutenant. Okay. Common cause. All non non effect creatures, which is not just mine. So that's not really good. Task Force is okay too, but the lieutenant is definitely better. Yeah, see, like, uh, passing virtually no white during the whole draft actually paid off here for me. <laughs> Let's hope I get another. I mean, I I, I get to to have a, a thermal glider or a, a night sky glider. I think it's its name. Uh, the one the rebel that flies and has protection from black. Either one of those would be would be awesome. They they're pretty good cards to have in a rebel deck because they fly and like I said, this format tends to be pretty you know clogged in the ground. Oh Jesus Christ! This thing. I was happy because I saw topple. Very good card to have, but come on, Ballista Squad, really? <laughs> All right, let's take it. It's really unbeatable. If they don't de don't destroy it, then they're gonna be hard pressed to do much of anything. It's all right. I think we can safely hide green here. We don't need anything. I don't think. We are still looking for. Uh, yeah, you know the blue cards we have so far aren't that good. I think at this point I am hoping to, you know, just open something like a Linsevi and go mono white. Man, I'm, my, I don't really have many expensive cards, right? Alright. Okay, here we got another Rebel, Trenching Steed, which is better than, than it looks, actually. This thing is pretty good. Uh, this thing, not so much. Oh, target creature, it can kill creatures, that's, that's good. Complex Automaton. Seven or more permanents. Yeah, that seems like this format. <laughs> I'll definitely control seven or more permanents a large portion of the time, so I'm just gonna go ahead and take another Rebel. Fanatical Devotion. Flowstone Wall. Yeah, this thing is not so good. And Renounce isn't good either. This thing has pseudo death touch. Could be annoying, but then again, yeah, I think I'm gonna just go ahead and take a fanatical devotion. Now that I'm looking forward to playing it, I cannot remember a card in this format that makes lots of tokens for me to abuse this card, but we shall see. Alright, the Brawl made, made it back, right? Not sure how, how good Brawl really is. Better than Reverend Elder, that's almost for sure. Yeah, not good. Not that good. Tremor is not a good thing. Let's take the Brawl. <coughs> and get a crossbow infantry bag. How awesome. Better than a mob toady, definitely. Alright. Aura Fracture is definitely a nice card to have. Better run part is okay too, but Aura Fracture is a very good sideboard card. And again, it is a card that I don't want to play it against me, especially if I get to, to pick some arrests or more muzzles. Or even something like a story circle. Alright. Uh, Reverend Silence, yeah. That thing can really go the distance against white. Bola Warrior. 
target creature can block. Is it better than a task force? It probably is. Yeah, but let's just try to to go mono white here at this point. There isn't really a red card that I have here that I truly want to play a lot. Ooh, Griel, Mind Reaker, and a, Siri, a Foil Syrian. Why don't you look at that? Maybe I should take a Fresh Volunteers, but wasting the first pick on that seems so bad. Maybe I take this thing and just run it, because I mean, like I said, in this format you definitely will uh, come to a point where the ground will be clogged up. And you know, mana count goes up there, so having nine mana available is not <laughs> that rare. Especially since I'm gonna be thinning my deck with my rebels here. Hopefully, I get the fresh volunteers back. If I had something like a Nightwing glider here, I'd definitely take it over Siri win, but yeah, let's go ahead and take it. Alright, abolish, not a great, not a great, and, but this thing is okay, it's a rebel, hits early, this thing is pretty good by the way. Uh, oh yeah, thunderclap, it's probably just better than a steadfast guard. It's just target creature, does not target players. But it's a good card to have. I don't have a lot of removal. So I'm gonna take it over. Steadfast guard. Alright, speaking of removal, there's topple. There's also a crash, which is not good. And a mock salvage, which is not good. So, oh, massacre. Jeez. That could definitely get me. Anyway, let's take a topple, which is a removal spell. That's dangerous. Sizzle, Flaming Ogre, Brutal Suppression. Sea of Cleansing seems like a good card to have in the sideboard, right? Maybe even the main deck if I'm desperate. <laughs> Alright. Uh, here we got nothing. Hey, draft him. Oh, Chimeric Idol. Yeah, Chimeric Idol is actually pretty good. Definitely. It's basically a 3 3 4 3. Ooh, Noble Purples. Man, that card is so good, it's not even funny. Alright, I'm taking it. Now that, I, now that I'll have. Lots of stuff to to deal damage with, but it's combat damage, right? Yeah, brawl. I don't think I'm gonna play a brawl. Maybe a serious mean just you know as a one-off to. Ooh, what does this thing do? Yeah, it is amazing. <laughs> no, this this thing's pretty good, but that's a seal of fire too. Source of your choice. Yeah, that's so annoying to play against. Sorry, Sea of Fire, but I think this is just better. Alright, Orum's Cure is an acceptable card. Undertake is so good, though. Thinking about just taking it. Do I want an Orum's Cure? Yeah, I do. Yeah, we, we got some cards here, like with the Brawl, that we don't really want to play. Is it really secure? Probably not even making our main deck, but it's definitely a, a card to, to keep in mind for some matchups. Yeah, take a Charm Battle. It's not the worst card ever. Could even be playing the main deck. Truth be told. Here we got a fun of Cho. 
Yeah, I mean, like fun of Chow, we could use it to power up a Sirenween. Although it does not just, yeah, like it takes two turns to make mana. So yeah, not to kind of abolish, to kind of abolish, just in case. And I got the the Mercadian Bazaar, right? Which is the the red version of that cycle, the land cycle. Sadly, I haven't seen a single troubled healer, which is one of the most ridiculous commons in the history of magic, I think, for draft. Well, which is better, Crash or Max Salvage? I think Mox Salvage probably. Although I'm not gonna play either obviously, but it's nice to have artifact destruction in the sideboard. We do have some already in the form of white cards like the seal of cleansing. Alright, this thing should not be here. So let's hate it. Yeah, crash. Alright. So I think we are done with our deck here. Not bound to get anything else. <clears throat> Let's see how the deck turns out. Alright, so uh, we have an option here to take out either a Siri Wind or something like a Charm Peddler, I think. Maybe even a Task Force. I mean, Task Force is just not that great a card. And I have plenty of Rebels. Right? I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine other rebels. Yeah, don't need a task force or anything. So, yeah, I think playing this thing is. I mean, it could pay, pay off. Maybe not, but, you know, at worst, it could be like Spellship or Father. <laughs> So by color, I'm thinking 10-7 or even 11-6 in favor of whites. I think 11-6 should do the trick, especially because... I mean, I have this thing which is double red, but you know, the vast majority of my deck is white. Alright, so this is it. See you round one.